I know it took me so long to make another YouTube video and I am truly sorry. I've just been dealing with so many triggers and fears in relationship to my work and stuff. But after sitting with my pain and giving myself time, I finally feel so much better. And also before starting the video, I just want to say thank you because I had one of my videos um, not really going viral because I know that from a certain perspective that's not viral it does not have a million views but comparing to my other videos it did quite well so I was able to help more people and reach more people and of course getting new followers and so many beautiful and kind comments and I really really want to say thank you because that made me feel so loved and appreciated and it's funny because all of my life I've been looking for that feeling in friendships and love relationships and I never thought that I could find it here that my work could make me finally feel so loved and appreciated for who I truly am so thank you so today I want to talk about shame and feeling ashamed of who we are um, because you know when I started my own healing journey and I I was just really focusing on healing my abandonment wound meaning that I stopped self-abandonment and I stopped choosing people who abandoned me and also after dissolving my unworthiness wound I really thought that I was done I thought that I was healed I don't have anything else to heal I'm just amazing everything was done and this is the happiest I've ever been and that is true but there's always more there's always more always more triggers that come to the surface and with that I still I really started noticing how I still carried so much shame. You know, in the past, I was always a person, um, and I know that so many of you can relate to this. Whenever I was in public or in social events, I always thought that when I hear the people laughing, they were laughing at me or making fun of me or judging me uh, in some way. And that really is a curse because you are always high alert. And even if, you know, regardless of the fact if they were really making fun of me or not, uh, that's not really the point. The problem is the fact that we are so worried about it, it really prevents us from feeling peace and worthiness. So I allowed myself to really feel all of that shame and make it okay, meaning that I really wanted to understand why I feel this way and why it couldn't be any different regarding everything that I went through in the past. So not really judging myself for feeling that way, but rather having compassion towards myself. Uh, because, you know, healing is really about accepting the things that we wish to change about ourselves and make it okay. It's not so much about being perfect, but rather authentic. And as I was dealing with all of those feelings, I really understood that my main belief was thinking that, well, there must be something wrong with me or there must be something really shameful about me because in the past I was always the one that no one loved. Um, you see, when we are abused, we really internalize that. And because no one talks about it because of the shame that we carry, that really reinforces our belief that we are the only ones who receive this treatment or that we are the only ones that you know, are like a target. Um, at least that was my experience and that, that's what I thought. That was uh, always how I felt. I felt so much shame. I, I remember thinking, um, why is it me? Why, why people always hate me? Why am I the target? Why do people choose me? That really reinforces a, a lot of our shame. I noticed how it's just so easy for us to think that it's our fault. You know, it's so easy to think that if we were more, if we were more worthy, if we were really enough, then people wouldn't just treat us this way or they wouldn't have the courage to, or they wouldn't even want to treat us in this way, to treat us bad, to abuse us. Because if we were really worthy and if we, if we were really enough, then they would have loved us. That's why it's so important to understand that there's really nothing wrong with you. There is something wrong with whatever happened to you, to the treatment that you received. But sometimes even what hurts the most is not so much what we went through, but rather the meaning that we have attached to those experiences. 
So, because you see, everyone is a target. We just think that we are the only ones and that also reinforces our shame. That's why it's so important to talk about it. Because I know people after opening up, I know other people who were also, you know, um, made like a target. And, but the fact that they had a strong sense of self and they had a sense of worthiness, they never made it about them and they would stand up for themselves and they, you know, would defend themselves and really say, okay, this is about you, you have a problem, I have nothing to do with this. And that's why it's so important for you to protect yourself and choose wisely who has access to you, because it's so important to understand that the treatment you receive is not really a reflection of what you deserve but rather a reflection of the quality of your environment. And what most inspired me to talk about shame was realizing how majority of my clients, and me included when I started my own healing journey, uh, we think that we need to change a part of us, a part of us that is wrong, defected, not good enough. We think that we need to heal because we need to change and stop being the way that we are. So for example, um, when I started healing, I really wanted to stop being codependent and stop being so needy and so emotional because that is so shameful and no one likes that. But when we look at our past and we look at the abuse that we received and the experiences that we had, we understand how today we couldn't be any different. Uh, so for example, I had another recent client who told me how he struggles with having very close relationships because he told me, well, if I let people get close to me, then they're going to see me for who I truly am, and I'm embarrassed of that. And I told him, okay, what, what parts of you are you embarrassed of? And then I told him to look at his past, what he went through, and understand how it makes sense that today he struggles. It makes sense that today he's that way. It couldn't be any different regarding everything that he went through. Sometimes we're just afraid of accepting that part of us because we think that if we do, then that's going to prove that we are unworthy. But it really doesn't. It just proves that we are wounded. The beautiful thing about healing is understanding how that part of us that we are so ashamed of was always beautiful, always enough, and always worthy of love. It's usually our own rejection that hurts so much. More important than accepting the part of us that we are so proud of is really accepting the part of us that is wounded because you see there is a difference between wanting to stop hurting and rejecting the part of us that hurts and today instead of looking at the way that i was in the past with shame and feeling ashamed of myself i look at that version of me with so much compassion and love because i understand how i was just doing the best that i could with the pain that i had remember that the way that you are today couldn't be any different regarding everything that you went through in the past. There is nothing to be ashamed of.